Hey all you addicts out there, this is Jordan Kanigi with Addicted Fishing. Today we're out here on the trout pond and we're talking about how to fish rooster tails to catch trout. What's very important when you're fishing these rooster tails is that you use a snap swivel on your line and what that does is it keeps your line from spinning with the spinner blade and creating a big mess and a big tangled mess of your of your monofilament line as you're reeling that in each time. So this barrel swivel, this is a size 6. This is one of my favorite for the trout, a little gold one. It allows a little bit of flash and it kind of attracts those trout as well. So what we're going to do here is tie a typical clinch knot here onto the swivel. We'll do our 7 wraps. So now that we've put that snap swivel on our main line, we're going to take our thumbnail and we're going to push down on this little wire and open this clasp so that we can slide the rooster tail onto that wire there on your snap swivel. So now that our snap is open, we're going to take it and we're going to hook it right to the eye of the rooster tail here. And what I would recommend is use a lot of different colors of rooster tails. This one here is blue, but my personal favorite is yellow. Uh, there's blacks, there's golds, there's reds, there's all kinds of different colors of these rooster tails. And so key is, is really to get multiple colors and go to the lake with those. One's always going to work better than the other, so make sure to have a nice variety. What we're going to do now is cast this out on the lake and kind of show you the method you want to use while fishing it. So, got our rooster tail here. You can see as I pull it through the water, the, spin, the, the blade spins very easily. You really don't have to reel too fast to get that blade to spin. The key is to know the depth of where you're fishing and reel as fast as you need to just to stay off the bottom. You want that spinner to be coming in about five to 10 feet off the bottom and allow those trout to swim after it and bite it. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna cast as far as we can because that's what we do when we trout fish. We're gonna let that sink. It's about 10, 15 feet here. So I'm gonna let that sink for about five seconds or so. And you can watch your line fall into the water column as it starts getting deeper and deeper. And after it falls for about five seconds, I'm gonna point my rod tip right at the rooster tail and I'm gonna reel nice and slow, just enough to get that spinner blade spinning. And what'll happen is in between here and there, you'll be reeling along and all of a sudden that big old feisty trout will just come slam this thing. And the rest is history. And you just reel it in and enjoy your winnings. All right, everybody, I hope that helped you guys learn a little bit about how to fish with these rooster tails for these stock trout. It's one of my very favorite ways, one of the most effective ways to catch these stalker trout, whether it be a lake, a river, or a pond. Um, if you like this video that you've seen today, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot more coming about trout fishing. Be sure to share this. Be sure to like this video, and we'll see you guys out there.